21st centuries, the concept of traditional masculinity has been ingrained in our society and culture. Men have been expected to be strong, stoic, and in control at all times. But these standards can also be harmful to men's mental health, emotional expression, and relationships. And that's why in today's video, we'll examine the issues surrounding traditional masculinity, highlight the harmful effects of toxic masculinity, and discuss the need to reinvent masculinity. We are the Masculine Few. Let's begin. Chapter 1. Traditional Masculinity Traditional masculinity has its roots in ancient societies, where men were hunters and warriors. The idea of male dominance and power was essential for survival, and these traits became synonymous with being a man. However, as society developed, traditional masculinity continued to evolve and take on a more restrictive and limiting form. Men were expected to be breadwinners, decision makers, and protectors. Emotional expression was not encouraged, and vulnerability was seen as a weakness. Although society has made progress towards gender equality, the expectations for men remain stringent. Men are still expected to be the providers, the leaders, and the protectors. They are taught to suppress their emotions and not show any signs of weakness. This limited range of acceptable behaviors and characteristics can lead to toxic masculinity, which not only affects men, but also impacts their relationships with others, including their partners, friends, and family. Toxic masculinity goes beyond the traditional expectations of men. It involves behaviors and attitudes that perpetuate power imbalances, aggression, and violence. It includes the belief that men dominate women, suppress their emotions, and show no weakness. This toxic culture can lead to a range of negative outcomes for men, such as depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation, and substance abuse. It also affects women and other marginalized groups, leading to harassment, abuse, and discrimination. The need for change is evident. Men should feel free to express their emotions and be vulnerable without feeling like they are less of a man. We must teach boys and young men to respect the value of women and other marginalized groups. We must encourage them to be allies and challenge toxic masculinity in all of its forms. To accomplish this, we must first challenge the prevailing stereotypes that afflict men worldwide. Chapter 2. Challenging Stereotypes In most situations, men are expected to be aggressive, confident, unemotional, and dominant members of society. These stereotypes have been perpetuated by the media, movies, and society as a whole. It's considered manly for men to steer away from emotions and instead resort to anger as an outlet. These stereotypes can be limiting for men as they suppress a range of emotions. For instance, it's acceptable to express anger, but not sadness or vulnerability. The pressure to conform can lead to rigid and emotionally suppressed individuals. The rigid expectations of masculinity can also have a significant impact on mental health. Psychologists have observed that men are more likely to experience anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts because they are discouraged from expressing their emotions. These stereotypes prevent men from accessing help and lead to feelings of isolation and shame. It is essential to challenge the expectations that perpetuate these mental health problems. It is important to promote emotional literacy, encourage expression, and create an open and healthy environment for conversations about mental health. In challenging stereotypes, it is important to showcase inspiring stories of men who have gone against the grain and flourished. These stories serve as a reminder that it is possible to be a well-adjusted and balanced individual by challenging the norms and being true to yourself. Men can learn from the courage and resilience displayed by these individuals and apply it to their own lives. Stories of men like actor Terry Crews, who spoke out about his experience with sexual assault, showcases that masculinity isn't defined by stereotypes. Male athletes provide excellent examples of challenging harmful and limiting stereotypes of masculinity. The stereotypical image of athletes is that they are tough, dominant, and emotionless. However, athletes like LeBron James, Michael Phelps, and Kevin Love have stepped up to talk openly about their mental health struggles, challenging the notion that these traits are necessary to excel in sports. Chapter 3. 
Reinventing Masculinity The first step towards reinventing masculinity is for men to reject toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity often reinforces dominant ideologies of masculinity, such as aggression, emotional repression, and objectification of women. We need to reject these practices and embrace vulnerability, empathy, and respect for others. This means confronting our own biases and understanding the harm that toxic masculinity inflicts on ourselves and those around us. Furthermore, it is important to surround yourself with people who support your journey towards reinventing masculinity. Seek out communities, organizations, and resources that promote diversity, inclusivity, and equity. These safe spaces can help you explore new ideas, gain new perspectives, and find ways to express yourself authentically. Listening to the experiences of others is crucial in understanding the ways in which traditional masculinity can harm those around us. Listen to the experiences of those who are different from you, whether it be by gender, race, sexuality, or ability. This can help broaden your perspective and enable you to emphasize with others' struggles. Last but not least, reinventing masculinity means embracing diversity and recognizing the importance of all expressions of gender identity. We need to create a culture that celebrates differences and promotes inclusivity. This means actively challenging the gender binary and fighting against discrimination and violence towards marginalized groups. However, we should acknowledge that the masculine desire to be the best and earn a lot of money isn't inherently wrong either. In fact, being competitive can often drive us to be better versions of ourselves and push us towards our goals. Healthy competition can inspire us, motivate us, and help us to see what we're capable of. It can motivate us to work harder and strive for excellence in our careers, hobbies, and personal lives. Furthermore, wanting to earn a lot of money or live an extraordinary life is not a bad thing. Money can give us the freedom to do the things we love, support our families, and make a positive impact on the world. It can even allow us to give back to our communities and those in need. Additionally, living an extraordinary life can lead to new experiences and growth as a person. It can inspire us to explore new passions, travel to new places, and learn more about ourselves and the world around us. The key is to make sure that we're not sacrificing our integrity or values in the pursuit of success. Contrary to popular belief, it is possible to be ambitious and successful while also being a good person. In fact, being a good person can often be the key to true success and happiness. When we focus on being kind, empathetic, and authentic, we build strong relationships with those around us. We become more trustworthy and respected, which can lead to more opportunities and success in the long run. Being a good person can also bring us a sense of inner peace and fulfillment that no amount of money or success can provide. And so, there is nothing inherently wrong with wanting to be the best and earn a lot of money. However, traditional masculinity is a limiting and harmful concept that needs to be challenged and redefined. It's time to embrace diversity and create a culture that values all genders and expressions. Men should be free to express themselves connect emotionally with others, and lead meaningful and fulfilling lives. Reinventing masculinity is not just about men, but also about creating a better world for everyone. Let's embrace this change together and create a brighter future.